Quit moving. And that's the video scene this week. Jim, just before you go, I wonder if you'd help me with something. Look to the right of your... Look, just look to your right. What do you see? Well, it's a hat. A hat for a brass band musician. Exactly. Many viewers have asked me to sing... <laughs> well, chant or destroy, perhaps, would be a better word. The number from Music Man called Trouble. Well, what, what do you want me to do? Most of it. Put your hat on. You're one of that select group of people who knows all the words to trouble and I want you to help me with it. I'll do the hard part and start. Right, well then you'd better put your hat on too. All right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This is a terrific... What do you think? <laughs> no, it's a little bit big. Hang on. Oh, yes. Oh, don't we look... Oh, <laughs> wonderful. Now... Professor Harold Hill is a charming con man who is currently selling brass band instruments. And he arrives in this little country town in America called River City. And he decides that the best way to flog his trumpets and his trombones is to convince the town people that their young ones should take up music instead of billions. He says, friends, Either you are closing your eyes to a situation you do not wish to acknowledge, or you are not aware of the caliber of disaster indicated by the presence of a pool table in your community. Well, you got trouble, my friend. Right here, I say trouble right here in River City. I sure am a video player. Certainly mighty proud to say I'm always mighty proud to say it. I consider that the hours I spend with a cue in my hand are golden. To help you cultivate horse sense, cool head, a keen eye. Did you ever take a try to give an ironclad lead to yourself from a three-rail billiard shot? Well, just as I say it takes judgment, brains, and maturity to score in a balk line game, I say that any boob can take and shove a ball in a pot. And I call that slop the first big step on the road to the depths of dead clay. I say, first, additional wine from a teaspoon and beer from a bottle. And the next thing you know, your son is playing for money in a pinchback suit. And listening to some big out of town, Jasper. Hear him tell about horse race gambling. Not a wholesome trotting race, no, but a race where they sit down right on the horse. I'd like to see some stuck-up jockey boy sitting on Dan Patch. Make your blood boil? Well, I should say. Now, friends, let me tell you what I mean. You got one, two, three, four, five, six pockets in the table. Pockets that mark the difference between a gentleman and a bum with a capital B. What's P and it stands for poo. And all week long, your River City youth will be frittering. I say, your young men will be frittering. Frittering away then, noontime, suppertime, chore time to get the ball in the pocket. Never mind getting dandelions pulled or the screen door patch or the beef steak pounded. Never mind pumping any water. Your parents are caught, the cistern empty on a Saturday night, all that's trouble. Yes, you got lots and lots of trouble. I'm thinking of the kids in the knickerbockers, shirt tail young ones, peeking in the pool hall window after school. You got trouble. Folks right here in River City. Trouble with a capital T and that rhymes with P and that stands for a pool. Now I know all you folks are the right kind of parents. I'm gonna be perfectly frank. Would you like to know what kind of conversation goes on while they're loafing around that hall? They will try and out Bebo, try and out q baby, try and out tailor maids like cigarette fiends, and bragging all about how they're gonna cover up the telltale breath with sense. One fine night, they leave the pool hall, heading to the dance at the armory. Liberty men and scarlet women at ragtime. Shameless music will lure your son, your daughter, in the arms of a jungle animal instinct. Mass hysteria, friends, the idle brain is the devil's playground trouble. Oh, right here in River City. Right here in River City. With the capital T and that rhymes of P and that stands for pool. That stands for pool. We've surely got trouble. We've surely got trouble. We're right here in River City. Right here. Gotta figure out a way to keep the young ones moral after school. Our children, children, gonna have trouble. Mothers of River City. Heed that warning before it's too late. Watch for the telltale signs of corruption. The minute he leaves the house, does he rebuckle his knickerbockers below the knee? Is there a nicotine stain on his index finger? A dime novel hidden in the corn crib? Is he starting to memorize jokes from Captain Billy's whiz-bang? Are certain words creeping into his conversation? Words like swell, so's your old man. Well, if so, my friends... You got trouble. Oh, we trouble. Right here in River City. Right here in River City. And with a capital T and that rhymes with P and that stands for pool. That stands for pool. We've surely got trouble. We've surely got trouble. Right here in River City. Right here. Remember the main Plymouth Rock and the Golden Rule. Our children's children gonna have trouble. Oh, you got
of trouble. You're in terrible, terrible trouble. That game with the 15 numbered balls is a devil's tool. Oh, yes, you got trouble, trouble, trouble. With a team, 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 with a team,